zoned cleanup. Well, hey there, we're looking at the Roborock S4 from the Chinese manufacturer Roborock. And what we have today is a paper carpet pickup test. I've got 52 pieces of paper cut up into little small bits. Uh, positioned around my hallway here, I've got some, they're groups of four, 13 groups of four. We've got some here. Now some in the edges of the doorways over here, along the wall, and four rows down the middle. And then in the end, we will count the number of pieces of paper left by the Roborock S4 and see how many out of the 52 it left behind. The Roborock S4 uses a a seven inch wide center brush. It's right in the center between the wheels as its main roller pickup. And it uses a rubberized side spinning brush. And you'll see it here spinning. And that rubberized spinning brush is supposed to help get debris away from the edges of the walls, around chair legs, table legs, corners, and brings it back into the main roller to effectively be able to get all areas of your house, which is key for a good robot vacuum, to be able to get areas that you may not even be able to get with a vacuum cleaner, under couches, under beds, under tables, you name it. So this Roborock S4 retails for around $400 as of this taping, and you can purchase it on Amazon link will be below. You can also purchase the bigger guy, which is the Roborock S5. The difference is the S5 has a mopping feature. I kind of think that's a bit gimmicky. I think I would buy a separate mopping robot if I wanted the mopping feature and not use it to vacuum and mop at the same time. But you know, I may be wrong. Comment below if you have an S5 or S6 and you love the mopping feature. I wasn't that interested in it, so I was pleased when they put out the laser-guided navigation on the S4 model, and uh, so far it's performing really well. I'm pretty impressed with it. I've had it in my house for a little over a week now, alongside my Nito D7. Check out some of my other videos to see how the Nito D7 did in this same exact test using 52 pieces of paper in comparison to this. see the silver bars in the back that's where it makes contact to the base station to charge when it gets done here it will go back to its base station should be just about finished here once it completes, we will count the paper left over, see what the results are. All right, you go on back to the dock and charge now and we will count the paper left over. So over here, if you remember, I had piles of four. Uh, it's a total of 52 pieces of paper. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't think there's any of the doors and none over here. So I will tell you that I ran this test twice. So the video you're looking at is the better out of two videos. I did that on uh, both the videos for this one and the Nito D7. So the video you're looking at today is the best run out of two. And I wouldn't have put them up until I got them consistent. So although this is not scientific test, I did the best I could to control the outcome uh, by making sure that both tests were run with uh, the uh, exact number of pieces of paper and the paper that was in the same exact area each time I ran the test. So six pieces of paper out of 52. Those are the results which are very impressive for the Chinese manufactured Roborock S4, the newest in the lineup from the company Roborock. And it's been a very impressive vacuum robot 
I must say. Those are impressive results for especially a round robot, which is supposed to have challenges getting up against baseboards and up in corners and such. So the navigation ability, the suction ability, the side brush is all designed very well, as you can see here. So if you like this comment, please uh, smash that like button. If you uh, want to see more content like this, please subscribe as I'll be putting out more comparison videos on these uh, vacuum robots. And if you own a uh, Robo Rock or a, a Nito or any other kind, just comment below and tell me what you what you got, what you think about them. Especially if you have the new S4, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on uh, on it since it's just recently come out. Anyway, hope you enjoy this content. Have a good one.